All right, very exciting day today. I got my 10 pounds of Icenia phytitis. I'm gonna uh, put them in my uh, bin. And uh, it's gonna take them a while to fill this bin up, but 10 pounds, a good start for me. I got all my spot cleared out here. It's gonna be kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna uh, dump the two bags out right here. And uh, let them settle on in, and I'll uh, wind up still putting some food chow down and uh, all that. But let me uh, go ahead and dump them out. Like I said, this is 10 pounds of worms. Of course, after I get done, I have to check these bags out. I ain't gonna be able to do it while I'm filming, but I gotta make sure I get all the worms out of there. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that cloud of worms. <laughs> One more. You can see right there. I don't know if you can see or not. They all are uh, balled up together. I think I might have grabbed a hold of one. Let me make sure I don't squeeze none of the corners. Oh, yeah. What I'm talking about. Anyway, let me set the bags out here so nothing happens. Any worms that may be in there. And let me put a camera. I'm going to light on it where you can see some of them. You can see why I really are called tire worms. I don't even see the stripes on them or not. But that's some nice, healthy worms right there. I only lost one in the box that was dried. I checked it out real good before I opened it. So, uh, we got one right here that's hung on the bag. I'll have to get out. That's what you got to check. Just make sure they're all out of your bag. You don't want to kill none, even though it may be one or two. But he kind of got wrapped in that string right there. But let me set them on the bed. And actually, you don't want to pull them out of there. They can get out on their own. But if you try to pull them out of there, you'll kill them. I'll set him right there and let him get out on his own. That's the bad thing about weed cloth. If you ever use weed cloth, they'll get tangled up in there and you got a real mess. But I'm talking about these are some nice identifiable, identifiable tiger stripe ones if you look. This ain't the best camera. I wish I had my magnifying glass out here to show you, but. You see some when you see the stripes on them. But like I say, that's, that's what 10 pounds of worms looks like when you get them. I'll come back in here and I'll put some worm chow down and all that. And uh, of course the bottom of this bin, I'm going to keep this light I got right here underneath there tonight. And also around the lips of this bin, I'm going to have some tubs sitting below this with some wet paper in it. And every morning you just come out and check it and see if... Uh, you got worms in it, and you can keep dumping back in your bin every now and then, depending on what you put them in. They may take some getting used to the different stuff. There's no telling what these worms were raised in, but hopefully they like this uh, horse manure I got down the middle of this. I got a, you can see a little bit of it right there. The center row is horse manure. And the very bottom I got a uh, newspaper, then cardboard, and I got coconut core on there. And when I first harvest this thing, I'll be wind up throwing the uh, stuff back in the bin. But it's going to be a while before it's ready to harvest any of this. But like I say, I'll come back in here and make sure this is moist, just like they like it. Put them some worm chow down. But uh, like I say, they made it here in real good shape. This camera doesn't do them justice as do uh, looking at the colors and the striping on them. But, uh, like I say, if there's a Icenia Andre in there, the part I'm looking at, you don't really notice it, which some worms will have Icenia Andre in there. It ain't nothing you need to worry about because uh, 
really the only way you're going to find out is to do analysis on the worms and you're not going to be able to afford to do that but like I said this is a real nice batch I'm real happy with it and uh, hopefully it'll do real good in my bin I made and everything but uh, I don't want to mess with them too much I'll uh, move this on the top just once and I ain't going to go through it no more because handling and everything is not good so Nah, I ain't gonna do it. I'll just tell you that's a solid mass of worms in there. If you get a a bag of worms and it's a bunch of bedding with a few worms in it, you need to be calling somebody. This is what it should look like. Just a load of worms. And uh ultimately ultimately you're uh goal is to be happy with what you got and I'm definitely happy with these like I say they're looking real good but anyway I just want to really show what it looks like when you put them in a worm bin you can come back in here and cover them up with newspaper or whatever for now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this light up here and uh, let them go ahead and take their time diving down into the uh, bedding I got. But anyway, hope you enjoyed seeing them get dumped out. I know some people like seeing the worms. And that's it for now.